I want to show you a uh, flexible glass line, gas line uh, insulation, the CSSP gas line. Um, we started in here. We actually got lucky and had a, uh, a connection here. You don't always get this lucky. I guess this used to be the uh, dark leg on the old furnace it used to be here. So when we came off of that, went into a valve, and we started our new line. So what we end up doing is fitting it, kind of fishing it through into the garage area where we do most of our hookup. Okay, this, this guy's just real easy. I just want you to kind of look at the hanger shrub I like to use. Three quarter inch. Uh, it's for electrical three quarter inch domey. It works pretty good. It also works good on hex pipe. So we use plenty of those to keep it up to where we want it. Um, and this filter here. This probably doesn't make quite good. You're probably better off using a uh, T instead of a uh, a black iron tea and put three fittings in it. It's probably cheaper to go with a uh, gas tank fitting for that. But when you don't have one, uh, we just make do and um, you can do that. And we were able to get this done. Okay, we run over here. I want to show you this. I like to run black iron up through the floor. Um, it makes for a more solid insulation. So I'll run black iron through the floor and it hooks up from there. Sometimes you can't always do that if it's on the second floor. But definitely on first floors where it's accessible. I like to put black iron in. If not, I like to keep the uh, fitting outside uh, where you can get to. And if it's uh, uh, like on the second floor where you don't have access to the pipe, I like to keep the fitting in the open so you can maintain and make sure it's not leaking. Okay, we ran the pipe all the way over. And we ran it up into here. From there I'll show you upstairs where it went. This is for the oven. Okay, here's the gas line coming up here from the dryer. So, one thing, don't forget the new blanket nice and solid. Um, the black iron coming up in the floor. Um, don't forget to put your, uh, your dirt line in there um, when you do this. This don't have one yet, but you should put one in when you install this. Okay, this is what I'm talking about when you bring it up through the floor. I like, if it's not accessible, I like to have that fitting uh, out in the open so you can get through it and test it, make sure there's no link in or anything like that. Um, now here you want to anchor this in pretty good. You want to put uh, a piece of wood behind it. Use a couple uh, straps to strap that on nice and tight so it doesn't move. And that'll be the gas line for the uh, uh, oven. So this is uh, more what I would do on a second floor when you can't get to that. And uh, anchor it down real good. So, but definitely coming out of that, I like to use black iron. Uh, so that gives you something to strap onto when you're doing your final installation. So my final is always black iron when I use the stainless steel pipe. 